Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is Refuge from Narcissism. And this refugee video is sponsored by contribution from Carrie Beth. And Carrie Beth didn't know I was making this video. Um, it's more of a thank you video. Uh, she's been a, uh, a very good supporter and a continued supporter. And um, <clears throat> without really blowing up her spot, I think she'll understand why I'm, I'm doing this subject um, for, you know, on a contribution for her, but it's something I, I've been wanting to talk about uh, based on based on a lot of the comments that I've been um, seeing on some some videos, some even some older videos. Um, and obviously you can by the title, you, you, you know what it is. It's our, it's our classic, it's our old, one of my oldies, but goodies, forgiveness. The forgiveness thing. Um, and again, I still have people in my comments. And I'm not attacking you. I'm not, I'm not attacking you. But I still have people in the comments. Okay making the claim that you have to forgive you have to forgive you're never going to you're never going to progress and i was so much better once i forgave well my first argument to that would be well if you're so much better because you forgave then why are you on my channel watching narcissism videos Why are you here? If you forgave, why are you here going through video after video? And this is um, this is not directed at, at any one person because several or several do it and have done it and continue to do it and it comes up talking about forgiveness, how you forgave and I have to forgive, and we know the old story. We know how it goes. So my question is, why are you going through video after video after video on a narcissism channel telling me I have to forgive? Why are you here in the first place? See, that's not somebody who's forgiven. It's not. You might be telling yourself you forgave. And a lot of times you say, oh, I forgave. Why? To get the money, to get the pressure off your back of these people telling you you have to forgive this person. You haven't. Forgiveness is something is not something you can force yourself to do and say, I'm just going to forgive this person. No, you know, deep down, no matter what face you put on, what front you're putting on, whether you've forgiven that person or not. And I'm telling you, it is impossible. It is impossible to forgive somebody who's not seeking your forgiveness. Not only not seeking your forgiveness, won't even acknowledge the wrong they have done to you and continue to do to you. They haven't earned your forgiveness. You know that. Your subconscious knows that. You can't force yourself to forgive. And when you do it, all you're doing is prolonging your pain and your suffering and you are tamping down which would that which needs to be brought to the surface your righteous anger your validation which you never received otherwise if you did you wouldn't be scrolling through narcissism video after narcissism video after narcissism video and this isn't carry i want to be very clear this is not not carry beth Who's doing this at all, at all, at all, at all, at all, quite the opposite. <clears throat> it's not her, not her at all. She'll understand why I'm doing this video on this subject. It's not her, it's other people. It's all over. You could look in the comments and just in the search, just put in the word forgive or forgiveness and you'll see, you'll see. 
all you're doing is repressing that which needs to come to the surface. You are prolonging it. You are just pro you are just prolonging your own pain, your own misery. Uh oh, I gotta check something. I'm sorry. Ugh. Uh, did I not? This is my own paranoia. I'm sorry. No, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> just was a little paranoid that I messed something up and I was going to have to redo this video. But no. Um, you're prolonging. You're driving down your own validation. Everybody comes on this channel. You're searching these videos out because you're seeking your validation. How are you going to get validated? How are you going to forgive before you're even validated? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. It never works. And I'm going to remind people of something else, okay? And the number one argument I, I, I get here, still, still with the forgiveness and, you know, the turn the other cheek and on, you know, we, we know it. We, we know my, how I feel about, I'm not anti, uh, I'm anti-organized religion. I'm not anti-Jesus. I think Jesus was awesome. Whether or not he's the son of God or not is up for debate. I'll go with it. I like the story. I go with it. It's the best one that's out there. But these people and the people who, you know, bring up the teachings of Jesus, the teachings of Christ as he's being as he's being crucified, he looks up and says, Father, forgive them. They know not, for they know not what they do. So that means you should turn the other cheek because this is what Jesus said as he's being crucified. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. What's Jesus saying in that statement? Forgive them, not because just forgive them. Forgive them because they don't know any better. They don't understand what's going on right now. So, he's kind of taken up for him. He's definitely taken up for him. He's trying to give his father an excuse, okay, to forgive him. You got to forgive him. They don't understand. Why does he want God to know that they don't understand? Ah. Ah, well, when it comes to forgiveness, what do I say has to happen? You have to have an apology, but what's more important than the apology, just an apology? They have to allocute. They have to admit for what they have done. An apology without allocution is meaningless. Why? Because it's just going to be rescinded. It's just going to be turned around against you. Unless that person is telling you what they're apologizing for, what they did, why they did it, what their intent is behind it, there is no use for giving that person. That's what Jesus was trying to tell God. They can't allocute. They know not what they did. They do. So that's the lesson we're supposed to take. Ah, but let's finish the story. What did God say? What did God say? Did God say you're all forgiven? Those of you who persecuted, lied about, and murdered my son? As my says, you're murdering him. He's telling me, you can't allocute because you don't even know. What did God do? Did God forgive? Or did God shake the ground? Split it in half and crush the fucking temple. Oh, that's what God did. No, son, I understand what you're trying to do.
but this is meaningless. This, what you're telling me is meaningless. They're not only, you want me to forgive them, okay? They're not seeking forgiveness. The only one who sought forgiveness was Cassius when he went to poke Jesus on the cross and he got sprayed with the blood, the water, and he was blind in one eye and instantly cured. Cassius knew what he had done. Oh, fell to his knees and then he became um, St. Longus, something like that. Forgive me, it's something like Longus, Longus, something like that. It was cured. He knew what he had done. What did God do? God split the earth, crushed the temple. He said, fuck that. No. He said, no. You're not going to murder the son of God and it is a sad, the sacrifice had to ha No. No. He's telling you, no, these people are not seeking your forgiveness. They want to come and they want to legitimately seek forgiveness. Though that's how you forgive. As Jesus laid and nailed to the cross, crucified, murdered, humiliated, beaten. Nobody sought forgiveness. None of them. Sorry, son. Sorry, son. None of them are going to seek forgiveness. They will now. They will now. In that story. Unfortunately, none of us have the ability to shake the ground and split it open and crush buildings, you know. <clears throat> or maybe you do, metaphorically speaking. What does the narcissist fear more than anything? Exposure. Forgiveness. Mm -mm. Forgiveness is giving them what they want. Forgiveness without allocution, forgiveness without repentance is meaningless. It's meaningless. That's what God was telling you. No, you're not just going to kill my son and I'll give you all these great things. As the story goes, if you believe the story. And even as noble as Jesus was to say, forgive them, please forgive them. God said, no, son, even your weakness, you can't forgive them without, without them seeking forgiveness. They sought none of it. None of it. So if God didn't forgive, if God won't forgive somebody see, not seeking forgiveness, why should you? Do you get into heaven if you don't seek forgiveness? If you don't repent? No, you're supposed to go to the fiery place, right? If God doesn't forgive, why should you? If God doesn't forgive without repenting, without confessing, without admitting what you, what you have done with an open heart, then why are you? Why are you? Because Jesus, after they tortured him and beat him and crucified him, asked his father to do so, his father didn't. He didn't. That's the lesson. That's the lesson. That we are all like so beaten. So beaten for a lifetime of abuse by these people. Mentally, physically, yeah, none of us are wearing a, uh, a crown of thorns, but you know, it's all over the top metaphor for the humiliations and the mental and even physical beatings we have taken our entire life. And even during the process of doing so, 
we still protect your abuser. You still make excuses for them. You still forgive them. God has already told you. No. No. Don't. Don't. Heal yourself. Love yourself. Have enough respect for yourself not to take that type of abuse. Because I'm going to tell you, everybody, if you're on my channel preaching forgiveness, okay, and you've truly forgiven, then why are you on a narcissism channel in the first place? So. I hate organized religion. Okay. I'm not the preachy type. I don't preach religion. Okay. But what you have to do a lot of times is you have to use people's own argument against them, especially the bio, especially when you're, when you're talking religion and the Bible and Christianity as an excuse for accepting all this abuse. Every abuse, every abuse Jesus incurred Every indignity could be a met. It could be a metaphor for for the abuse we have incurred in our life. Carrying that cross, being humiliated, being turned on by your friends. I mean, of course, no wonder so many people identify with it. But understand why, especially you identify with it if you're on my channel. No, you don't have God's God. No, you don't have to take it. None of these people who crucified you are seeking forgiveness. They think they're heroes for doing it. If God won't forgive them without them seeking forgiveness, why should you? Because if you had, you wouldn't be on my you wouldn't be on my channel in the first place. So I hope that helps. Whoever's watching this, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I want to thank Carrie Beth for all your support um, throughout throughout the channel and everything you do for me. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's been it's been wonderful, and I know you know why I why I did this um, uh, with one of your con with one of your contributions. Um, so let me know what you think in the comment section below again, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, something you'd like me to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, or, you just, or you'd like to sponsor a video for someone else who, can, who needs help and can't afford it, or you'd just like to make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you guys. Completely demonetized from Google. We see what's going on, everybody. If you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with the PayPal and email links in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel here and my channels on Rumble. I will be uploading on those as well. And be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been Refuge from Narcissism. Take care, everybody.